Thank okay. you. It should be, it should be coming through now. Okay. There we go. We're good. All right. All right, Durant. All right. Most likely to become famous, the boy would be Isaac Alvarado. And then most likely for a girl is Kamali Aguirre. <laughs> and then Ferguson, back to you. And of course, most athletic boy, as you saw him in that video, dunking on another student, is none other than Habib. Congrats, Habib. <laughs> All right, most athletic girl, Destiny Goodall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, best dressed boy goes to Carlos M. All right, and then the best dressed girl goes to Reem Mohammed. So, guys, remember you voted for these, FYI. We didn't do anything, we had nothing to do with this. <laughs> All right, back to Ferguson. <laughs> and of course, oh, I'm going to just announce this one. Cutest couple. They were in my history class together. <laughs> Sophia and Kevin. All right, Mr. <laughs> Funniest boy. Goes to <laughs> Jose Miguel Gonzalez. I second that. I think you ought to make him say a joke right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, are you on the line? Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Durant. I was very shocked about this when I was counting, but the funniest girl is Aisha. I didn't know you had a sense of humor that everybody loves so much. But your name popped up uh, many a times as I was counting. All right. And most likely to go viral on TikTok, boy, is Michael King. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. <laughs> All right. And then back to Ferguson. <laughs> of course. Again, most likely to go viral on TikTok is Reem Muhammad, who's always doing TikTok dances randomly in class. <laughs> oh, <Lord>. Yes. <laughs> All right. And then Mr. Kato. Of course, the most studious gentleman goes to Luis. Yes, Bye, Luis. All right, and then I think this is the last one. Most studious girl is, uh, oh, go ahead, Miss Durant. No, you got it. I'll go. It goes to Shams. Voted on by your peers. Great, Shams. <laughs> All right, so now we are going to have our lovely principal, Miss Powers. I'll hand it off to her. Thank you, Miss Sweater, for, for finding that ugly sweater picture. I don't know where that is, so thank you. All right, guys, um, so I appreciate you all joining us this afternoon. And I did have to prepare something in advance because otherwise I think I would cry too quickly. So um, bear with me and I have a tissue close to my computer in case I need it. And thank you everyone for bearing with us with technology and making sure you are all able to be present and join us here this afternoon. So this is a message to my dear Kipsters and your families. So good afternoon, everyone. Again, um, it's exciting to be here with you this afternoon as we celebrate for the first time ever virtually our rising ninth graders um, through this promotion ceremony. I know, of course, that this virtual way to celebrate was not what you expected when you walked through the doors in August, um, that this would be how you end your middle school chapter. But it's definitely events like this and moments like these 
that constantly remind me why you guys all deserve the most celebration and love because our emphasis today is on new beginnings and not just on endings. You guys have worked, I think, definitely harder than any other previous eighth grade class at KCMS. While I love them too, you guys have a special place in my heart since no one has had to uh, master eighth grade both in person and virtually through the computer. And through all of that, you guys have shown how resilient you are, how incredibly bright you are, how you're able to adapt to situations and just how committed to your success you are as well. All doing that while balancing life at home and all of the uncertainties about our world currently that we face every single day. I hope through this kiddos that you guys have learned just how strong you are and that there's really no challenge that will prevent you from moving forward in your life. And that's the exact attitude that I hope you take with you into high school since your life has so many more bright moments ahead of you. Um, as you know, middle school is the prerequisite to all other magical moments that are to come. And the quote that stood out to me was that learning is not the product of teaching, but it's actually the product of the activity of learners. And that just reminds me of wanting to share with you that you guys are in control of your success and your education is in your own hands. You're accountable now as high schoolers for the learning that you do, preparing yourself for passing your um, end of course exams, asking when you need help and for support, taking time to becoming great, great writers, and ultimately investing in yourself to make sure you have the ability to maximize every opportunity that's available to you. And your greatness as a class and as individuals is definitely why um, we're all here today. And I can't thank you guys enough for being so, so amazing. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you, class of 2024, for genuinely making me love my job even more than I thought was possible. Um, I've been there and remember day one as fifth graders when we went through challenges in ELA as Pomona Penguins and with Miss Green. Um, we've had so many high fives and hugs and rock, paper, scissor competitions and UNO wars. And I just appreciate you all for being such amazingly loving and kind people throughout all of these past four years. And you guys have really left your mark at Kip Connect Middle School. And we cannot say thank you enough for everything that you've done, the ways that you've risen um, to you and for your parents for supporting you, who I hope are not too far from you while you're listening today. So I do wanna acknowledge our parents, um, class of 2024 parents, Thank you, thank you, thank you as well for giving us your children and trusting us to help out each and every day. And knowing that when you brought your kiddos to school, although it was really early and we called you a lot, if they were late or not there, it's truly been a blessing and a privilege to get to develop relationships with each of you. Thank you for everything you've done with their homework from um, being in the building or even now during COVID-19 to make sure you had access and your kiddos had what they needed to make sure that they got the best. And I know that for a lot of us um, parents, especially, this has tested our patience and has definitely been a challenge, but not any of your efforts have gone unrecognized and we thank you tremendously. And thank you for developing such meaningful relationships with me um, and making sure that you knew myself and the rest of our Kip Connect team would give you and your children the best possible experience that we could. And you've been part of the magic that's what made your children so successful today. Um, I ask that you continue to support your Kipsters as they go on to Connect High School and will be in great hands um, under Mr. Roy's leadership. And four years goes by really quickly, guys, um, in making sure that you're ready for uh, whatever the next step is that you choose to take, whether that be college, whether that be trade school, whether that be starting a business you have the ability to accomplish whatever it is that you set your mind to. And I can't wait to continue to see you be successful, especially because the world right now more than ever needs kids and families like you and yours to make sure that um, the, the injustices and racism that communities um, that are Black, Brown, Latino, and Hispanic face every single day um, are equipped with, with people like you to consistently be ready to stand up and fight back and make sure that you get what you deserve. 
So in 2024, I just want to end by saying I love you all. <laughs> it's been a pleasure to teach. I just the joined and this, the ceremony's done. If you could go on mute, that would be great. Thank you. We're not done yet. Don't um, worry, you're done, man. It's been a pleasure to teach, mentor, and have fun with you. I couldn't be more proud of you, and I can't wait to hopefully see you tomorrow as you drive through. High school will be new, and it will be challenging, and it will be definitely a test of everything that we've taught you in middle school, but I have full confidence that you're ready. You've learned a lot. You've had the best possible teachers um, and ended eighth grade with the phenomenal group of teachers who are on the line today. And please don't be afraid to come back to our side of the glass. Give me another hug. Give another high five. And I wish you well in everything that you do. Love you times a thousand and can't wait to see you and celebrate when it's safe to do so. Thank you, guys. And Miss uh, Garcia, if you could just translate the part for parents, that would be great. Buenas tardes con todos. Uh, voy a traducir para... Los padres, el mensaje que nuestra rectora, Miss Bowers, ha dado para ustedes. Padres, queremos agradecerlos por los niños maravillosos que ustedes tienen. Ha sido un privilegio y una bendición el, por, el saber que ustedes confiaron día a día para que nosotros les ayudemos a educarlos y guiarlos en su futuro. Gracias por traerlos a la escuela cada día y también por recogerlos cada día. Gracias por haber ayudado a ellos a hacer sus deberes. Gracias por hacer lo que nunca pensamos que podíamos uh, hacer o que en estos tiempos de, que fueron tan duros y tan diferentes del COVID-19. Uh, gracias porque ustedes hicieron todo lo posible para que los niños puedan tener acceso a todo lo que necesitaban sus recursos para seguir aprendiendo en esta época difícil. Um, yo sé por muchos de ustedes que me dijeron que fue un tiempo que nos muy duro, que nos ha llenado de paciencia a todos. Y para muchos eh, también fue oh, tiempos difíciles donde nos hicieron ver hasta dónde podíamos llegar, pero Quiero que ustedes sepan que ninguno de sus esfuerzos, todos los esfuerzos que ustedes hicieron, padres de familia, han sido reconocidos por nosotros. Muchas gracias. Y por último, muchas gracias por haber desarrollado esta tan buena relación conmigo, con la, profe la directora, con toda la gente, con todos los profesores y las uh, personas que trabajan en Keep Connect Middle School. Si no hubiera sido por ustedes, por, um, si no hubiera sido por todos ustedes y por todos los, um, los niños, no, que no hubiéramos, no hubiéramos sido posible que nosotros estuviéramos hoy día aquí. Esto es verdaderamente una época de nuevos comienzos. Todos hemos sido probados y hemos superado, hemos pasado a nosotros mismos. Hemos probado que podemos prosperar a través de los tiempos difíciles. Padres, por favor, sigan apoyando a sus niños e invirtiendo en su educación. Sus niños están a, tan solo a cuatro años de convertirse en adultos. Tenemos que seguir enseñando, educando y guiándolos. Por favor, continúen ayudándolos con sus deberes, con sus, eh, sus inscripciones en escuelas que sean de conocimientos avanzados, eh, en mejores oportunidades, que cuenten como colegios o, o cuando hay programas que les puedan ayudar para que hagan los, los créditos del colegio. Eso es muy importante, porque así van a ahorrar el dinero se puede ahorrar el dinero para que ustedes tienen que ganar, eh, gastarlo en college, ellos lo pueden hacer en el, en el high school. Apliquen a uh, todas las becas del colegio. Eso es algo importante que sus niños a, hacerlo. Y más que todo, sigan amando a sus hijos. Eh, Keep Connect uh, High School va a estar conectado con ustedes 
así como lo hemos hecho nosotros eh, Keep Connect Middle School. Thank you, Ms. Garcia. Thank you, parents. Thank you, kiddos. Love you lots. Thank you, Ms. Fuera, for our Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next we have our wonderful alum from KCMS, Fatima Paco. All right, Paco, I think you can speak. Hi. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, Fatima! Um, I just stole her. Uh, um, hi, my name is Fatima Faco, and I am um, a ninth grader at Kip Connect High School. Um, a year ago, I was actually in your spot, um, graduating eighth grade, but we did it at school. Um, when entering high school, there are a number of things that, like, I wish I kept in mind. Like when you, when you enter high school, you want to make sure you leave a good impression. You want to start school year right by being you and doing what's right. And um, the upcoming night, 2024, you guys are now leaders of the Raven eighth graders and the lower grade. So you need to make sure you are setting an example for the rest of the school too. So meaning you need to um, you need to go to class on time. I'm sorry. <laughs> you need to go to class on time. You need to meet expectations. You need to be prepared. And you need to know how to balance your academics with your social life. Um, because balance is the key. For your classes, you need to focus and get your work done. And um, you do not need to feel the need to fit in with you know, people who are cool or people who you don't belong with or people who lead you down a bad path because then you will get distracted and just it won't be helpful for you. Um, my advice is that like, is to have a balance and be made and keep, and keep um, to go to where you need to be one day. Um, so, like I said, you need to um, follow the rules, advocate for yourself when you need help, listen to your teachers because they know, they know the best, get to class on time, and balance classwork and your social life. And always, always ask for help when you need it. And just always remember that you are your only limit, and you graduated eighth grade online. So, congratulations. Bye. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Thank you, Fatima. Um, I was gonna ask. Sorry, Miss Garcia. I was trying to text you. Um, do you mind translating for us? Bruh. Yeah. Um, let me get a pencil and a paper just in case. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yes. You want to translate what she said? Yeah. Can you do it on? The, oh, oh, I didn't. I didn't. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna remember everything. But okay. what Fatima? I'm gonna do a summary. I didn't. Fine. Miss Terrible. Oh, um, whoever is online, can you please stop? Like that's not okay. You need to put yourself. <laughs> Lo que acaba de decir Fátima, Fátima estaba dando un consejo para los chicos que van a entrar al colegio al noveno. Y yo creo que es algo muy importante que los padres sepan que en el colegio va a ser muy en el high school va a ser muy diferente a lo que ellos están acostumbrados en el middle school. En el high school, high school ellos tienen que dar más de ellos. El Fátima estaba aconsejándole que no, aconsejándoles que eh, tienen que valorar todo lo que es la educación, tienen que organizar su tiempo. No es tan importante, está bien socializar y tener a su grupo de amigos, pero es lo más importante que ustedes se enfoquen, que sus niños se enfoquen 
en estudiar, en sus carreras, y eso puede juntarse con lo que dijo Miss Bauer de hacer los créditos para el college. Entonces, um, dice, dijo que, también que um, va a ser uh, más difícil, más, no difícil, pero como más um, un reto, un reto, tienen que enfocarse más en investigaciones, en hablar a los profesores si es que algo no, no comprenden, crear esta comunicación. Entonces, en resumen, es eso es lo que decía Fátima. Mrs. Padafora, you want to tell me something else that I can add? No, that's perfect. Thank you. And also, too, I didn't put in the slides, but she is here. Miss Taylor. Hello. Of 2024, I am scrolling. I'm seeing these hairdos. Francisco rock, rocking that man bun. Michael T, like these hairdos are awesome. What I don't know though is how many of you, some of you are already passing up my height last year. So I'm really curious once we actually get to see each other in person, how many of you like, I haven't grown since seventh grade height wise. <laughs> But height-wise, I haven't grown since seventh grade, so I'm curious if how many of you are going to be in this Taylor land, the same height since seventh grade, and how many of you are just going to, like, skyrocket to, like, the six feet. So thank you, Ms. Bifora, for having me. Great team, Ms. Bowers, for having me today. It is, I, like, when Ms. Bifora included me on the email, I was like, I am going to move all the meetings around because I am not missing this. This is um, just a joy to be here with y'all today. Um, I do not have something as as thoughtful as Ms. Bowers did. So Ms. Bowers, thanks for kicking us off. Uh, but I, I got really touchy, like scrolling through the picture. It's sad if those of you who aren't on video, but maybe maybe that's okay. Maybe it's for the better if you haven't like gotten yourself ready for today. Um, but I really just wanted to like see everyone and just like you're here. And everyone said it before of like, you're the only class that has to go through this and you've done it with stride. Um, and so if you can get through this challenge that we're in right now, and there's there's a, bit, there's a lot of challenges happening right now, but the, the, the barriers you have broken will just be incredible. I can't even wait to see what you do in high school. But I made a list of things that I, I remembered about our time together uh, at Kid Connect. Um, and so if you indulge me for just like a minute, Um, so I don't know if you know this, you might remember this, y'all were the very last class where y'all didn't come from Connect Primary. And that is something y'all will hold all the way till you graduate. So the class of 2024 at KIPP Connect is the last like founding class of middle school, right? Because the 2025 after you founded the primary school. Um, and so that's just something to hold because you're like the last, which is kind of a big deal in terms of your legacy. Uh, you're also, I'm going to take you to sixth grade, where you were the last, you were the first class that started our awesome camping trip just a couple hours away from Houston, um, which is a really beautiful trip. And I don't want to take anything away from how much fun that was. But what you might not have remembered is that we used to go to New Mexico. And the reason 2023 did that right before you um, and that we couldn't do it any longer is after Trump went into office and there were a lot of issues at the border. So you might remember in fifth grade, as y'all went to Austin, we, we were all very nervous um, because of the state of our nation at the time that, as you can see from day, day, day in and day out, is still still similar on a lot of levels. And so um, it's a beautiful memory of what y'all created for, for the camping trip in sixth grade, but also um, just like a big historic moment. Um, you are a class that is so tight. Y'all have each other's backs like no other, um, almost to a fault, right? Because whenever we try to get you in line, sometimes y'all had each other's backs so close that sometimes it was hard to like make you focus on the right thing to do. Um, but it's that's beautiful, and I hope to continue to see that until you graduate in 2024. Uh, you are the class that helped um, build out our life projects and what the honor council looked like at the school because we finally had an upper school and a lower school in the You're a class uh, that made me find a lot of corners that I didn't know existed in the energy release slot. Thank you for that. Um, Y'all were very creative, and I never really realized that there was all these nooks and crannies that we could plan around. So uh, thank you for that. Uh, parents, y'all have always been huge supporters, volunteering, fundraising, 
coming to school anytime we texted, anytime we called to support your child, and we thank you for that. Um, my favorite memories are of the fundraisers where uh, we we're selling pupusas and all the things. Also 2024, where you also um, became infamous in my heart because you went back to the energy release slot during those fundraisers, and then we had to come up with a whole bunch of rules around that. But, but again, really good memories that I can look back and laugh on. Um, and then my most recent memory, which we weren't obviously with COVID able to finish this year, but I hope to see the folks that were on this team and if not more next year is we, uh, 2024, some of you on this call, uh, started with us on our second MS-150 team. We were cycling this year. We were at race in early May and then it got canceled. So we have the bikes. We have the spots. We just can't wait to do it next year. So if you're interested, uh, feel free to join. And if you're already on that team, we hope to see you soon. Um, and so when I come to visit you, please do say hi. Don't try to duck and run from the middle school to the high school. There's a lot of walking spaces and stairwells and also outside to the gym and cafeteria area. So say hi. And then you're lucky that I did not get with this metaphor before this because I probably would have made you sing the Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake, your class of 2024 song. But you're welcome that, that you don't have to do that. Maybe you'll do that after school. But love you all. Um, congratulations as you end your for you. Thank you, Ms. Taylor. And then Ms. Garcia. Oh, sorry. Oh, I don't have that. <laughs> okay. Just for me to understand, uh, Ms. Taylor was a teacher. Uh, was You were a teacher? You teach well, them? Huh? I was the former school leader before the fabulous powers took over. <laughs> oh, okay. Bueno, para, para los papás. Hacer un resumen a uh, lo que la señora Taylor acaba de decir. Ella numeró uh, los, um, muchos momentos en los que la clase del 2014 um, va a ser recordada por... Um, ok. Uh, que en la clase del dos, 2014 eh, con ellos, ella nunca olvida cuando se fueron de camping. Uh, uh, también muchos de los viajes cuando se fueron a Nuevo México, que fueron viajes muy, muy bonitos, muy lindos. Eh, también recuer lo recuerda mucho cuando hubo un viaje a Austin, había algún momento que se pasaba, que pasaba algún momento en, en el país y, y todas las emociones, ¿no? Todos los sentimientos que ella vivió con los chicos y con los padres de familia, que son cosas que ella siempre va a recordar. Eh, también dijo, que, oh, que ella nunca se puede olvidar porque con la clase del 2024, perdón, no 2014, 2024, eh, empezó el proyecto de los Life Plus Life Projects. Ellos fueron con los que se, se iniciaron y también el proyecto de los honor con, de los um, consejeros estudiantiles. Uh, otra cosa que me llamó la atención y que dijo que uh, con la clase del 2024, con esa clase, fue donde ella descubrió todas las esquinas que existían en la escuela, porque ellos jugaban y se perdían por todas las esquinas de la escuela. También algo muy lindo que dijo es que eh, este grupo, eh, como hold each other back, como están tan juntos, se apoyan, o siempre están tan reunidos, lo dijo de una manera, manera como metafórica, que es tan difícil separarlos, pero es porque ellos se están apoyando, ¿no? se apoyan, siempre están uno para el otro. Eh, también dijo que eh, eh, los padres, los padres de, de estos niños son unos padres que nunca se olvidar porque tienen un gran espíritu de voluntariado y ella les agradece por eso, por todos los uh, eventos que hicieron para recaudar fondos, que ella siempre va a recordar eso. Muchas gracias, papitos, por todos sus esfuerzos que, para re, eh, recolectar fondos para, para los niños y las diferentes actividades. Y que nunca voy a olvidar el, el evento de las pupusas. Muchas gracias. Entonces, ese es un resumen de todas las cosas lindas que los chicos del 2024 uh, han hecho, ¿no? Y está en la mente de la, la profesora, de la señora Taylor. Thank you, Ms. Garcia. Uh -huh. Thank you again. Thank you, thank you, Ms. Taylor. All right, so now next. We have a message from Miss Stoller. Oh, Miss Stoller, you want me to like click, click, click? I'll, click. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, hi, 2024. Um, I just 
when I think of 2024, I think of the most enthusiastic, opinionated, but like in great ways, um, creative, hilarious students that I have worked with. Um, and I, and of course, yes, there's some of you I've worked with for four years, but I'm even talking about those of you who I worked with in fifth grade and sixth grade. I've been looking back at all of these videos and pictures, and I chose a few that were some memories that I wanted to share with you. So um, just that made me laugh or that, that surprised me and that I still find really fun today. So um, first picture. Okay, so back in fifth grade, <laughs> we, I, I, we did these frozen images and I just, I remember that like sweetest little Henry was like holding a pencil <laughs> in this stabbing motion um, playing this character in this drama. And it was like such a moment of, of um, just like, like surprise, you know, to be able to see this so sweet, studious Henry, just like, all right, I got this new character. Um, and there were just a lot of moments, really fun moments like that. Okay, next one. Drumming club, oh my gosh. Well, it turned into drumming class. And it was the only year that we had drumming as a part of the um, music class. But you guys started so much in music. And whether it was drumming and taking your pencil tapping and turning it into actual music, right, um, into our orchestra program today. You guys began that, and that was really exciting. Next one. Um, Nikta, AB, I don't know if you remember these, but oh my gosh, puppetry club, like hilarious puppets that you guys made, and we made a whole video. Um, yeah, just like <laughs> joy, sheer joy. Uh, next one. That video was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <OMG. laughs> <That was> great. <laughs> next picture. Yes, the non earner year that we were went to the garden, and I remember specifically how much you guys like went to yeah, town, training. getting all like harvesting and cleaning up that garden, and then Anthony, you can see in the middle there next to <laughs> Mark, little Mark and little Andy and and Isaac, and and Anthony found like an <laughs> axe like under the earth like it was like in the, the the soil and suddenly Anthony's got the axe and it was like oh my gosh what's going on um just hilarious and like slightly scary moment <laughs> next one my boy Isaac <laughs> Jacob oh my god yeah okay right we're like did this beautiful, gorgeous mural that you, you, some of you guys helped design, and then he gets interviewed by the news, and he's like on the news, just you know, talking about this beautiful art that we created. Yeah, really cool moment. And next one. Who can forget Willia's MJ? Right, like winner of talent shows, just one year after the other. Here <laughs> and just like the highlight of all of your teachers' end of your talent shows, really doing that, Michael Jackson. And last one. Oh, two more. Sorry, um, just <laughs> Stephanie, Jared, just playing around with those southern accents oh, on stage. <laughs> um, just hilarious. Oh. Oh, man. class even if it was your one time in four years in theater it was such a joy and last one and I just wanted to end with a picture of some of my girls who now young ladies young women going to high school who I've been with for a long time and just to end with how what, what a, an absolute joy and it's been to work with you guys. And whether it was this year or even back in fifth grade, thank you, thank you, thank you.
for a wonderful, wonderful four years. Thank you, Ms. Solar and Ms. Garcia. Okay, um, I don't know, Mrs. Toler, if you wanna, I don't know, like pass again the, the picture so the parents will be like, they will know what we were talking about. Um, I, can, I can do that. Um, okay. So, uh, para los, pa los padres de familia, uh, la profesora Stoller, que es um, la líder del área de arte, va, estaba dando su mensaje para los chicos que se van a graduar. Uh, entonces lo que dijo es que ella los ve, ella ve y piensa que son los chicos más entusiastas, comunicadores, creativos que, que ella ha tenido, los estudiantes con los que ella ha trabajado. Um, hizo un resumen de fotos de todos los, los niños y los momentos que durante cuatro años ella ha compartido. Um, creo que fueron momentos que lo llenaron a ella de alegría. Entonces, el primero está uh, Henry, creo que es él, ¿no? Henry, Mrs. Pagafora, just correct me because I don't know all, all the you're, names. You're right, Henry. <laughs> Entonces dijo que Henry está ahí haciendo una actuación con un lápiz. Entonces fue increíble ver cómo él se ve. ¿Es un lápiz o un pen? Un espejo. Ahí se dice así. Uh, cómo se metió dentro del carácter, ¿no? Entonces fue algo que le impresionó a ella y que siempre se acuerda. Eh, la segunda foto es el club o el grupo de, um, de los uh, que tocaban uh, los drums, las, los tambores, como si sí, el grupo de los que hacían los tambores, que primero era un grupo y se convirtió en una clase. Um, ahora entiendo por qué les gusta hacer tanto ese lápiz en, el, en la mesa. <risa> ok, en la tercera foto es de un... Um, You can move that one, um, Mrs. Padafora. Oh, eh, esa es la foto del club de, de títeres que también hicieron con ustedes. Eh, también hay otra foto. Um, Mrs. Padafora, you can go next. Okay. Eh, esa es una foto donde están muchos, entonces ahí empezaba a nombrar a todos los chicos que vemos ahí, tan tan chiquitos, ahora tan grandes, como ese día fueron a limpiar un jardín, creo que era un, un jardín, el, todo el esfuerzo que hicieron, um, y, a, y no solo aparte de ayudar a la comunidad, ¿no? Con la limpieza, también fue toda una aventura para los niños encontrar algunos insectos y la profesora dijo que era también aparte de ser muy divertido fue algo un poco que le dio un poquito de miedo no porque ellos jugaban con los insectos y, y no les daba miedo a ellos uh -huh. también hay una foto de Jacob eh, que Jacob uh, salió um, explicando acerca de un proyecto de arte en el espejo donde ellos habían participado y él salió en las noticias entonces fue algo muy muy lindo no muy interesante Um, también había un talent, un show de talento. Uh, ¿Cuál es su nombre? I, I forgot. That's Willie. Willie. Yeah. Que Willie ha ganado casi todos los shows de talento. <laughs> y en este um, está el de Michael Jackson. Willie, tienes mucho talento en eso. Um, también hay una foto donde está Joseph y Gerard, mis chicos. Ok, uh, que fue, que ya también no se olvida eh, cuando ellos interpretaron. Interpretaron una, una escena con acento sureño. I know me. <laughs> en el escenario. Um, y por último, compartió una foto de las chicas. The girls, Mrs. Padre Ok, y quiso cerrar eh, su intervención con una foto donde dijo, bueno, en esta foto aquí, aquí están mis chicas que representan a todas las chicas de la clase 2024. Eh, eh, he disfrutado mucho de trabajar con ustedes en estos cuatro años. Gracias por todo. Eh, gracias por tanto, chicos. Ese fue el mensaje de Miss Stoller. 
Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, we have Mr. Birkenkamp. Let me get more paper. <laughs> Ms. Garcia, I'll, I will, I'll talk a little bit and then I'll let you uh, translate. Yes, great, great, that will help. Yes. Uh, welcome. Me, uh, just give me one second, please. Go ahead, no problem. Okay. Great. So I just want to say hello and welcome uh, parents and class of 2024. Um, it's great to see you guys, uh, miss you guys a ton. Um, I know this wasn't how we envisioned uh, ending the year, um, but I do want to say just how proud I am of all of you guys. Um, again, doing the work you need to do um, and being part of this celebration. I'll stop right there, Ms. Garcia. Okay. Okay. Um... Buenas y bienvenidos y quería decirles, bueno, ahorita es el mensaje de Mr. Birkenham, que él es el decano de octavo. Eh, quiere decir saludos a todos y bienvenido. Quiero decirles que les extraño mucho. Eh, esta no era la manera como yo pensaba que iba a terminar nuestro año. Um, pero aquí estamos, um, comprometidos. Ya, yeah. you can continue, Mr. Thank you. Um, trying to think of all the things um, that I want to say um, and try to acknowledge all the students. Um, what I'm going to try to do is just uh, name a couple of things that stand, stood out to me with certain uh, students. Um, but before I do that, um, I do want to name off a group of students. Uh, Ms. Garcia, you do not have to name all the students off, um, but I'll pause there for you. Ok, uh, lo que ahora va a hacer, nos está explicando uh, el señor Birkenkamp, que él solo va a nombrar así cada, va a nombrar un grupo de estudiantes y ciertos estudiantes y va a decir algo, algo sobre ellos. Uh -huh. So I do not include your name, you guys, there's so many memories and as we're going through the slides, there's more and more names, but a few of the names that just come to mind and I just want to share a couple of stories with some of these uh, memories. Um, so again, a huge shout out to class of 2024 as a whole. Um, and just uh, specific shout outs to some students. Uh, Mark Anthony, Ruthie Sam, Anthony C, Hilda, Cameli, Isaac, Guillermo, Jose Miguel, Francisco, Carlos M, Habib, HG, Willie, Axel, Jose O, Dania, Junior, Destiny, Jacob, AB, Brian C, Sophia, Kevin, Gaida, Afa, Reem, uh, Both Norris, Rafe, Mohammed D, Edgar Caesar, Jordan, Michael T, and Marlene. And Farewell. So again, I wanted to get everyone's name I could with these are the names that stood out. Um, and just uh, one, uh, Mark, um, always keep me on my toe, always talking trash about my Yankees. I love you though, um, and I'll miss you. Go um, Astros! <laughs> that's a, that's one, one, uh, one story, uh, Ms. Garcia, and I'll, I'll do a couple after. Okay. Um... El profesor solo nombró a todos los chicos, yo no voy a nombrar a toda la lista grande de chicos, pero dijo que se disculpa si es que no, no ha nombrado a todos, él solo estaba agarrando los que vinieron a ese momento a su mente. Y el primero es uh, Mark Anthony. Um, eh, Mark Anthony y el profesor uh, Berkenham siempre están molestándose uh, por, los, por los equipos de, me corrigen si estoy mal, de béisbol, ¿no? Entonces, el, uh, entre los Yankees y los Astros están siempre. Entonces, le, le agradece el profesor a Mark por esa alegría que le trae Mark. Y then a couple other students that I want to uh, recognize too as well, specifically uh, Hilda. Um, I remember at the end of uh, duty every day, you would come by reading a new book and you were telling me about the book um, and also just talking about, uh, you know, I would tell you, hey, make sure you tell Mr. Cato because Mr. Cato is an avid reader. Writer, so I also want to do a shout out to Hilda too as well for those uh, conversations after school. También quiere um, hacer una felicitación, ¿no? un reconocimiento. Eso es un shout out. Un reconocimiento a Hilda, Hilda, porque al final um, del día, siempre después de que se acababan nuestras tareas, ella um, estaba leyendo libros y siempre comentaban acerca del nuevo libro eh, que ella estaba leyendo, de qué se trata. Eh, el profesor siempre decía, bueno, tienes que decirle a Mr. Cato también, ¿no? Porque Mr. Cato es, es o oh, oh, el profesor también del lenguaje. Entonces, él uh, hace este reconocimiento a Hilda y este poder que ella tiene en la lectura. Uh -huh. 
Uh, the next group of students, uh, my young gentlemen, they always keep us on our toes. Um, if I do not shout you out, um, just know that I'm thinking about you. Um, but Anthony Caballero, Isaac, Jerry, Carlos M, Habib, HG, um, the group with AB uh, and Brian, um, Caesar, Edgar, uh, Mohammed D. The reason why you guys have stood out was because you guys always seem to be up to something. Um, but I also want to recognize is how great of individuals you guys are. I know how great you guys would be. Um, I really hope you take the messages that I told you and the rest of the just told you about to truly care about you. Um, and I know the high school is lucky to have you with your energy um, and hopefully maturity a little bit too as well. I'm miss you guys. Then I'll, I can go from there. And then, okay. oh. go ahead. Um, I'm just trying to find out the expression, keep me on the toes. But that's fine. So, el profesor Birkin Kam acaba de nombrar a un grupo de estudiantes y les quiere, uh, él dijo sus nombres y quiere decirles que, que ellos son unos caballeros, in, unos individuos increíbles que tienen mucha fuerza y que él espera que todas esas cualidades, esa energía y esa fuerza que ellos tienen uh, madure, madure y sean, um, suficientemente líderes y fuertes, ¿no? Para seguir en la vida, que los admira. The next three uh, ladies, or a few ladies I'd like to shout out is Barnine, Cameli, Destiny, um, Farouette, um, and, let me see if I know. Yes, for that, and Dania too as well. Um, just our conversations, whether you guys stop by during passing period, whether you're trying to get out of your class to talk to them, I know you need to go back to class. Sí. Uh, whether it's a conversation at lunch, uh, just super appreciated. Uh, you guys are amazing young ladies. Um, I can't wait um, for what the future holds for all of you. Um, el grupo de, de las chicas que acaba de mencionar, que son unas damas increíbles, que él aprecia mucho, él disfrutó mucho de las conversaciones que tuvieron, inclusive de aquellas cuando querían escaparse de clases. <laughs> que ustedes son increíbles, chicas. Just the kind of last group of boys, but for different reasons. Uh, over time, uh, Rafe, uh, Mohammed D, Willie, Jose O, um, Fernando too as well. Um, and Kevin, we just had different conversations for different reasons. Um, those are conversations that uh, I won't forget. Um, anyone who I did not mention, um, the list can go on and on. Um, I just want to thank you guys for just being you. Um, you guys are going to be great. You guys are going to kill it once you get to high school. Um, and I really hope, again, you just take the messages that all your teachers uh, talk, talk to you about, not just the content, but also life skills. I can truly say this eighth grade team of teachers and staff um, really did want you guys to succeed and want you to succeed. Um, so again, thank you staff, thank you parents, and thank you students for being you. Um, best of luck to you. Okay, um, y terminó el profesor diciendo que um, gracias por todas, nombró a algunos chicos y también eh, disculpe si es que no he puesto a todos los nombres de cada uno de ellos, pero en general gracias a todos mis chicos del 2024 por todas las diferentes conversaciones que, tu, que tuvimos durante este año, nunca los voy a olvidar. Gracias por sie ser siempre ustedes. Um, Confíen en sus profesores, en ahora en esta nueva etapa del colegio. Nunca los voy a olvidar y siempre sean ustedes. Thank you, Ms. Garcia. Thank you, Ms. Medicola. Thank you, Mr. Birkenkamp. All right. Mr. Ferguson. All right, I'm going to stop my video because I might cry. I don't want, want y'all to see me cry. I've never cried before. So uh, I have a quote from Maya Angelou. You may not control all the events that happen to you, but you can decide to be reduced by them or not to be reduced by them. And as you know, there are many things you cannot control. You know, everything that's going on with COVID-19, and right now we're having this virtual um, celebration of you guys moving on. And it's not ideal. But you can decide if these factors you can't control are going to control or reduce you. As you get older, 
you can decide no matter your environment that you can always excel. If you want to translate that as Garcia. Okay. Um, ahora es um, el mensaje de Mr. Ferguson, que es el profesor de estudios sociales. Y les, da, les, les pone un pensamiento que dice, tú, tal, tú no puedes controlar todo lo que te sucede, pero tú sí puedes decidir eh, que no, no dejarte como bajonear por lo que te está sucediendo, no dejarte minimizar por lo, lo que está pasando. Entonces, él um, compara esto por todas las cosas que nos han pasado en este año el uh, tener el, la ceremonia de graduación así a través de una videollamada, lo de COVID-19. Entonces dice que hay muchas cosas en la vida que está fuera de nuestras manos y no podemos controlar, pero, no so, pero ustedes, les hablan los estudiantes, pero ustedes sí pueden deci decidir um, dejar si estos factores los van a estancar o no. Entonces está hablando sobre eso. Continúe, Mr. Ferguson. As you get older, you kind of realize that all of the cliche and corny sayings are probably the most profound. So when I say you guys are capable and brilliant and all worthy of excelling, like I really mean it. Um, what I've seen out of each and every one of you guys is all of you have made strides. And you guys are like truly the captain of your ship. Okay. Okay. Entonces, en relación a esto, cuando ustedes van a, lo que les quiero decir es que solo ustedes van a controlar su vida. Ustedes, cuando crezcan, él va a estar seguro que van a ser brillantes. Él cree en ustedes, pero solo está en sus manos el poder ser, ser exitosos. Él cree que ustedes pueden hacerlo. Ustedes son los únicos capitanes de sus vidas. Ustedes van a dirigir hacia dónde quieren llevar su vida. And as the captain of your own ship, if the water is violent, if it's turbulent, or even calm, you direct that destiny. Uh, it's in your hands. You control that ship no matter what uncontrollable environment you face. No importa si es que el agua está turbia, si es que el agua no es clara, si es que hay muchos movimientos o turbulencias en el mar, Solo vas a ser tú quien va a poder controlar eso en tu vida. Miss Garcia, I don't know if you want to translate this or not. I'm probably going to go a little fast, uh, kind of like Mr. Bergen Camp. These are some of the names that come to my mind when reminiscing about all of my classes. Um, if I don't call your name, it's probably because I'm a little nervous and a little emotional. Uh, probably I've forgotten um, some of the good times. I'm going to post something on Google Classroom. Ok. Ahora el profesor va, es, está, va a hacer como unos unas reconocimientos. Eh, él quisiera decir todos los nombres, pero si es que no ha dicho todos, por favor, disculpen. Solo son los que me vienen a mi mente en este momento. Yes, Mr. Kirk. First period. Pablo, Isaac, Jared, Joseph. You kept me laughing as well as a little angry. But I saw so much growth. You guys grew a lot. Ibtisan, Maisa, Afra. I learned so much about learning and managing emotions of a 13, 14-year-old eighth grader. Hold up. You guys oh. made teacher grow. You want to translate her? I can keep sí. going. Yeah, just by group. Um, para el primer grupo de los chicos, nombró a chicos. Um, ustedes me hicieron reír mucho, pero también me hicieron eh, enojar mucho, de la misma manera que me hicieron reír. Eh, me di cuenta que maduraron, maduraron bastante en este tiempo. Eh, después eh, mencionó el grupo de chicas y eh, estaba diciendo que él aprendió mucho a conocer las emociones de los adolescentes de esa edad, gracias a, a estas chicas que le, hicieron, le enseñaron mucho sobre lo que los momentos emocionales que pasan los adolescentes. Uh -huh. 
that back table of Nina, Stephanie G, Neil, Luis, Lou Wing, having amazing conversations, engaging conversations about content, or just kind of eavesdropping on you guys, gossiping. It was such a joy to have you guys in my class. Para la mesita de atrás, todos los que se sientan atrás, gracias por esas conversaciones apasionadas que, y muy interesantes. interesantes. Oh, también gracias por solo así como esas pequeñas conversaciones uh, a veces um, simples y sin sentido. Gracias por estar ahí. That second period of Jose Miguel, Gaida, Noelia, Selvin coming in. You guys are always entertaining, keeping class energetic, as well as being engaged in history. Uh, I really appreciate you guys, Michael and Dania, having conversations with you guys. Um, I really enjoyed that second period of energetic class that really kept me on my toes. Uh, gracias para los chicos del segundo periodo. Es Son super energéticos, entretenidos. Um, siempre fue divertido estar con ustedes. Uh, los aprecio mucho. And fourth period, being the most engaged class. Kevin <laughs> and Andrew's witty comments. Uh, from Aubrey and Marlene's always helping me print out copies. I'm going to call on you guys out of the clear blue to help me. Because you guys are going to be my little secretaries for life. Just joking. It sounded like Trump when I said no. You guys oh, are very... <laughs> I'm sorry, continue, Mr. Ferguson. I just lost a little bit. Okay, so, and oh. sorry. that so last for period. The, the class of, para los niños del cuarto, pero los chicos del cuarto periodo, los más comprometidos, que le hicieron sacar un millón de copias que van a ser sus secretarios de por vida. Es solo un chiste. <laughs> and that last period, by far the most energetic and lively class. You made the most strides. Academically, you were probably the highest class. Bridget and Hilda, you were always engaged in history, as well as uh, getting books on philosophy, Hong's Map to the Soul, and discussing history events. Para el último periodo, um, Super, muy energéticos, eh, enfocados en todo, que conocían sobre los derechos, uh, tal vez los que tienen un mayor, que tienen mayor conocimiento de la clase, super, uh, mencionó algunas chicas, super uh, comprometidas, enfocadas en la historia, en los libros, en la filosofía. Gracias. And from all my athletes who are in that last period, from the B, Carlos, A.C. Johannes, um, it was a pleasure having you guys in the courts. And in class, Mark, you are a Wikipedia of baseball. Um, <laughs> I learned so much about baseball just by listening to you. You are a joy to have. Um, Anthony C. Jr., you actually made a lot of strides. I can't wait four years from now to see you guys going across that stage, starting your own business, going to college. You guys have moved tremendously. Ok, um, el profesor está hablando un poco sobre los um, diferentes alumnos. Eh, habló sobre Mark. Mark, eres una Wikipedia sobre base, uh, béisbol. Gracias, gracias por tanto. También para Antonio y you say, um, Antonio en Wales. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have in general. Sorry. Oh. No, que hicieron tantas cosas acertadas, que crecieron tanto, creo tanto en ustedes, van a, van a estar bien, van a llegar bien. <laughs> and last but not least, Farwet, you were so kind, always asking questions, very helpful, as well as Noor, being helpful and getting me copies when we ran out. You guys are going to be missed, and much appreciation, and I love all you guys. Oh, gracias uh, porque uh, mencioné unos nombres siempre estuvieron uh, concentradas, siempre ayudándole con las copias, van a llegar muy lejos um, All right um, so Miss Bowers has to leave in just a bit so we're going to actually go over the 8th grade drive-thru 
Um, so that way you know what um, what we need to do for tomorrow. Um, and then we will continue the presentations with the teachers, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the drive-through, okay? I, I will present first and then Ms. Bowers, um, please chime in whenever you can. Um, Thank you for your flexibility team. So uh, for tomorrow's drive-through, it is going to be tomorrow from 6 to 6.30. It is going to be in the Kip Connect parking lot. As you can see, it's like the normal dismissal line. Um, the event will only be 30 minutes. And please arrive at 6 o'clock, not 15 minutes before, not 30 minutes before. It needs to be right at 6 because we don't want to hold traffic on Bel Air Boulevard. <laughs> And then, Ms. Garris, if you want to. So, guys, we're really excited to be able to, and thank you, Ms. Garcia, in advance for translating this for our parents, um, to be able to host this. We originally were not able to do this, but we got special permission last week. And so your teachers have worked really hard, not only to prepare for today, but also for tomorrow to make sure that we can celebrate you. So I need everyone to hear from me that, I know it's going to be so, so hard, especially for myself. As you guys know, I love to give you hugs, fist bumps, and high fives all the time. But we cannot tomorrow um, have any physical contact with each other because we have to make sure we stay safe. So everyone who's going to be a teacher or a staff member at school tomorrow has to wear a mask and gloves. And if you are driving through with your parents, you guys have to stay in the car. If people get out the car or we're not six feet apart or we're touching and hugging all over each other, I would have to make the really unfortunate and call that I don't want to have to do, which is say that we have to stop. So I'm sharing this. We're sharing this with you now so that you know what to expect tomorrow. We'll be out there cheering, celebrating. You'll see the balloons and everything. But I need your cooperation to please make sure that you adhere to the guidelines so that we can keep you safe, your family safe, and ourselves as well um, by making sure you stay in the car um, and we're just driving through for 30 minutes and, and that is it. I don't want to have to say we have to shut down, but if we don't follow this, then I, I will have to be put in that position. But I think we can do it. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing everyone drive through and getting to love on you from afar and celebrate you, even in a way that um, looks a little bit different. Ms. Garcia. Is this for the Florida? You just want that um, the next, the before? No, yeah. Okay, so papá, esto es algo muy importante porque son, uh, es la información para el día de mañana, la celebración que vamos a tener va a ser de seis a seis y media, solo media hora, no tenemos más, entonces es súper importante que ustedes lleguen a tiempo a las seis, no podemos, ustedes no pueden llegar ni diez minutos antes, ni diez minutos después, o sea, tiene que ser en tiempo porque no podemos parar el tráfico en la calle de Beler. Entonces, ¿dónde va a ser? Va a ser así en la entrada, como cuando ustedes van a dejar a sus niños, ese es el recorrido, como están viendo aquí en el mapa, el evento va a durar otra vez solo 30 minutos, arriba a las 6 en punto. Eh, después de eso, Miss Bowers dijo que, eh, you can go next, Miss Padofora, está muy, uh, la profesora Bowers, la rectora Bowers dijo que está muy uh, feliz porque sacamos, logramos conseguir este permiso especial la semana anterior. Entonces, vamos a poder hacer la celebración. Los profesores estamos eh, muy emocionados de poder ver a nuestros niños y, aunque sea de lejos, um, poder uh, celebrarles. Va a ser muy difícil no abrazarlos, porque siempre no Ms. Bauer nos gusta darles un abrazo, un beso por sus logros y despedirnos, pero no va a ser posible. Entonces, no, va, no puede haber físico contacto. Ustedes van a estar... Ustedes van a estar en el auto, tienen que manejar en el auto. Hello. We have to mute. Ok, los profesores van a estar con máscaras y con guantes. Ustedes tienen que quedarse en el auto, no deben salir a ningún momento. Si es que alguno de los chicos eh, no sigue las instrucciones, vamos a tener que lamentablemente parar el evento y darlo por terminado. Y eso no queremos. Okay. 
Oh, can everybody please be on mute, please? Because um, this is, I know this is important, but a lot of kids had last night, they texted me. Um, can they decorate their cars? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. Okay. I look forward to seeing best decorated cars with what you have tomorrow. Um, we'll have pom poms, posters, and all of that to make sure you know you're loved. Um, I just want to make sure we all stay safe and can celebrate um, with a positive ending, not with the cars that have to do anything. So thank you. Si ustedes quieren, pueden decorar los autos porque algunos chicos quieren decorar su auto para la celebración. Lo podemos hacer. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Love you lots. Congratulations. And I think it's Mr. Cato next who will share his words of wisdom with 2024. Bye. Okay, so one, let me start by saying congratulations to the class of 2024. I also want to acknowledge uh, the players on the baseball team and all of your hard work. Uh, even though we didn't get a chance to play, we put in the work and I had still have great feelings about what you're going to be able to do on that field. And also, I want to shout out the lunch crew that would not let me have a lunch every single day in my classroom and wanted to bother me. So, <laughs> with that being said, I'm going to switch from the presentation to the full view. So, every last one of you who do not have your video on, turn it on because I want to see, since this will be the last time I get a chance to talk to all of your lovely faces okay i give you 10 seconds 10 9 i knew that was eight, seven Ooh, my camera don't work five four three all right two one and zero with that said miggity miggity Microphone check one, two, what is it? Do you know what time it is? It is time for your graduation exit tickets. Hi, It's Miss Jane. Now, with that being said, on the screen. Congrats, everybody. With that being said, on the screen is a quote, and the quote reads as follows It says that education is the passport to the future for tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today and that's by brother malcolm X. Mm -hmm. now naturally i would give you something to think about as my final address to you so the natural question that comes from that is what is education and education is what i've been trying to give to you all year it involves two things thinking critically, and having a healthy curiosity to know. As long as you think critically about situations and you are curious about the things you do know and things that you don't know, you will always be educated and be an educator. It is 2020 and it's never good enough to say, I don't know about anything, okay? And I have no problems saying this to you because you have already proven that you understand this concept. You have already learned. You have pursued learning through Harvey and you continue to learn. You have pursued learning through a pandemic and you still continue to learn. You had your eighth grade year turned upside down and reduced to online learning, and yet you still continue to learn. And over these four years of your middle school experience, you had to survive Trump and his comments and deal with wrestling with ideas and language that doesn't coexist with your values. And you had an understanding that you are in a position that other people don't have. 
So you already know how to learn. You've already been educated and you have already proven that you are able to get through anything. If a hurricane can't stop you, if a pandemic can't stop you, there is nothing you are going to encounter in these next four years that is going to stop you from being who you want to be. Or with that being said, I leave you with the exit ticket. I know you're asking, where's the exit ticket? Here's the exit ticket. It is my hope and it's my prayer that you continue the lessons that I've taught you, that you continue to champion your voice, that you continue to keep reading, to keep learning, that you continue to speak out on things that bother you. And let me say this to you, speak the truth to power. Even if you are afraid, even if your voice shakes, even if you have to stand alone, do not let anyone muzzle your voice, muzzle your dreams. Okay, that's it. That's your exit ticket. So I'll finish by saying this. I'm proud of you. I'm so thankful for my time with you. May the Lord watch between you and me while we are absent from one another. Thank you. When are you going to put this in the grade book? Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Cato. Thank you, Mr. Cato. Thank you. You heard a bit? Mr. Rand. All right, sheesh, Mr. Cato. That's a hard act to follow, but um, I, I do want to, I do have a few words for 2024. Um, I appreciate you guys for, for welcoming me to teach your, finish out the eighth grade Ooh. science year with you. Um, you started off with someone else, but you are finishing with me. And though it has been a journey, um, I appreciate you guys for putting forth that effort to making those those necessary adjustments that were needed. Um, even during this virtual time, just to give a few shout outs um, to, to individuals who like wow me, like literally um, who, who show tremendous growth uh, between being in the classroom and then make, making that, that virtual transition. And so Habib is one that I want to shout out. Um, he was very, very, very on top of his work, he was very, um, uh, uh, like anything that, that was given, he did it first thing. He was one of, he was one of the first students to turn in assignments for me. Um, Jose O was always, uh, asking questions, good questions. Hilda, she, she showed up and, and continued to maintain her, um, her, her wittiness, her, her concern for her work, um, as she did in person. And it just showed through, um, in the virtual setting. And, and many, many, many more students. Um, those are just a few that, that came to the top of my head. But I did want to let you know that uh, you guys are more than capable uh, to the more more than prepared for your high school journey. Your your middle school journey was one that was very, very different. Um, you had teachers in and out um, in science last year and this year. And for like Kate, Mr. Cato said, for you to be able to to you know, be able to continue doing the things that you are doing inside the classroom and to be virtual during the pandemic and or Harvey, you guys have, have really survived and did a lot of things that, that are unmatched. And so your resilience is, 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 is pretty much, um, no one can top that. So the class of 2024, I appreciate you. Um, you guys are, are more than prepared for your next journey, um, whether you are staying at Kit or not, you are right. are on um, the 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 level that you need to be to succeed in high school. So I did want to just come in and, and say those quick words for you. Thank you, Mr. Rams. Okay, and we have. And old guy Kitty, Miss Chavez. It was my presentation on Miss Chavez. All right. So 2024, we're not going to have a repeat of last year when I broke down crying. You sure? <laughs> you sure? I'm gonna try to be. You don't miss those no more. You you love when I cry, huh? But 2024, like I'm I'm a little upset that I have to say goodbye to y'all this way. 
But I will say that you all mean so much to me. Um, you're the first group that I ever looked up with. And <laughs> when Mr. Cato talked about the hurricane, like I was with you with the hurricane. We had to start school twice. Um, <laughs> we were together when Duke started that book and they had hieroglyphics as their alphabet. Um, we were together just when we even transitioned to seventh grade and I had to, to just talk to you all about like just real life things and why some people may leave a school, but you are still here and people still did stand for you. And you are a very intelligent group. Like I will definitely miss all of you. Um, I cannot go down and list the names because every each and every one of y'all means something to me. Like I have learned a lesson from you all and I, in 10 years, I, if I see you, I will remember you and I will remember like just who you are in my room. So I just hope that as you all go to high school that you can just take all of these lessons that you learned with you, like Mr. Cato said, like you all are the only group that is, that for Kip Connect has had to finish your eighth grade year online. Like this is something that teachers can't even imagine, like if you were students and just in an educator role and you all have done well, I've seen you all just grow and mature so much. Um, starting from 2024, some of y'all, the girls being gossip queens and <laughs> the boys just, I don't know what y'all had going on, but just to see you all mature. And I'm just really glad that as much as I hate field trips, like I'm glad that I went on an end of the year field trip with you all because I will cherish that like forever if you still have my shirt on because I was like, this is the group that I went somewhere with and like we just had lessons to learn. So I love each and every one of you. Like, if you want to come by whenever we go back in the building, I will be there. Um, I will be in the eighth grade role. So, therefore, just, you know, if you want to come say hi, come say hi. I will be there. And I hope that some of you will stop by. To see me. I will. Okay. I'm the last 2024. So. Oh my gosh. Um, I didn't think this would come. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh. You guys have grown so much this school year. Like, it is so hard to believe. Like, I remember being a relay resident whenever you guys were in sixth grade. And I was just like, oh my gosh. 2024. I'll never forget Destiny when she walked away from me in the cafeteria line. I thought I was going to like, oh, they don't like me at all. I was thinking that so much in my head. Um, oh my goodness. But when I finally like got to like teach you guys and just substitute two whenever I was really resonant, you guys are just amazing. Y'all are an amazing group. And I'm so proud of you. And right now the words can't explain, like I can't explain like all the emotions I'm feeling right now. Um, y'all are just awesome. I think what really, really like just shined or like really hit me this year is whenever I had to have surgery for my appendix and y'all wrote that card for me from y'all in Mr. Ant's class. It just, that right there just showed so much caring, so much love, just so much work that I made with you guys, like personally and academically, like I know some of you have went through so much during your middle school years and it's really been such a pleasure like to teach you guys, like a real big pleasure, like just like 2023, you are now my 2024, like I will always cherish y'all, cherish y'all and remember y'all. And I would have to say, I think you guys went beyond my expectations, you went beyond KIPP district expectations. You guys showed so much in and out. Like, and I'm so proud of you. And my advice and my things that I do want you to keep doing is always keep beating the odds. No matter where you are, who, like, where you're going to be, just keep beating the odds. Cause y'all did it. Y'all did it. Y'all are going to high school. And also, I do want to tell you, um, Next year, um, Center 4 will not be at Kip Connect. Um, no, what happened? What happened? Why are you leaving? Guys, don't leave us. 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 Don't
calm down. Like this is hard. Yeah. Read them all. So yes, it just calm down. I was. I was. We love you. Bye. I love you too. Uh, I am going to be here. Um, I am going somewhere else, and I will talk to y'all later about that. But I do want to tell y'all, um, please feel free to like call me, text me, email me. You know how I'm responsive. I'm very responsive to you guys, um, just like I was during the distance learning. So you, you can always reach out to me in. I'm gonna make a promise to you. I am gonna go to school year in high school. I will be going to high school to see y'all. Um, I taught you guys in 2023 because we want to see y'all. Thoughts are already blowing up my phone. <laughs> oh my god, it's just pain to me to say that I'm not coming back. But I love you guys. You do need to keep beating the odds and keep proving people that. You are more than just a number and you are more than anything because you guys did it this school year and I know y'all are going to do it again and for years to come. I love y'all so much. I'm going to get back on Guys, take a screenshot or just uh, use your photo. Because <laughs> you're doing a name as a friend in Snapchat and I don't have a phone number. <laughs> I heard that just said. So, Super Sina, let me share something. Nancy, Nancy making everyone cry. Uh -huh. Okay. So, everybody go back on mute. I know we were having a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and. What'd you say about me? <laughs> okay, guys. Go back on mute. Thank you for all the texts. I love them. I, I love seeing that you're going to miss me. I'm just going to say, I promise. Um, oh, my. <laughs> okay, guys. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and end the ceremony. Guys, don't make her change your number. Okay. I won't. <laughs> No. I want to go ahead and end it. Um, That's my shot So, guys, you are graduating. Shot shocker sucks. No. Hey, hey guys. All right. So, um, you are graduating to high school, and we have made a collage of you guys. This is all the pictures you have shown. I love this. Some of these guys did a throwback when you were little. Look at little Stephanie Chavarria. Oh my gosh. She looks so cute. <laughs> but we are all so proud of you. We are all proud of you. Everybody. Thank you. you. You've definitely done a magnificent job with all the online learning. This has definitely beaten everything. And it's been a challenging last two months, but y'all made it through. All right. So before we go, I do. I know we talked about the drive-through, but I do want to. I'm gonna end this in about five minutes. So if you have questions about the drive-through, um, <laughs> please feel free to stay on if you want to ask us questions. Okay. So I'm giving. I have you a question. Is my is at you? Yeah. It's not a part. Can I just say I have to go? But I love you, 2024. I miss you. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. Bye, Miss Kessel. Bye, my love. Bye, Miss Kessel. When you're a big choir, you're like 4'10". Okay. You're a hairline. 4'11". Oh. Also, Anthony. keeping the traditional live, eating in yeah. front of you guys. Sorry. Let's talk this right now. Let me get a bite. Who's up here? Who's up here? Four zero. I'm going to see you. Guys. Okay, I'm it's kind of cool. You can't be carrying people. Sorry. I see. You weak. I'm weak. Okay, you need to cry. Also, send me a message on Facebook if you want a tournament on Joe Chocolate. Bye. Joe Chocolate. Oh, I, 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 Some people have questions. Y'all need to put yourselves on mute, please. Ismael. Don't have 
Okay, some people have questions. I need you to put yourself on mute. Um, okay. Whoever is have their hand up? Are they sleeping? Oh my gosh, dude. Hey, enough, please. Because I'm trying to answer questions they may have for tomorrow. Okay, uh, someone's raising their hand. Go ahead and put yourself off mute and go ahead and ask your question. Where what? Um, tomorrow, like, are you then? Are you guys gonna give like awards or something? No, we cannot give any individual stuff. Um, the only thing we are going to give is like you know the notes you wrote for Mr. Cato. No. We are gonna be giving those. That's it. And we're putting them all on one pamphlet, so it'll be like a handout. Okay. Oh, um, Henry, guys, we'll be putting stuff on your windshields. <laughs> like, we can't give it to you. Oh, Henry, say it again. What happens if there's a lot of people? It, it's going to be a drive through. So, you're going to be I'm driving right. through. It should not take no more than, like, I would say not more than two minutes, three minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, going to start. Thank you. You're welcome. It's going to start at six. Oh, I mean. Um, someone else sleeping? I have a question. Yes, go. How How is your dog doing? He's doing good. Thank you, Ismael, for asking. <laughs> hey, man, do we all do we all go to my crib? So far, as you saw the pictures, you're going to high school. Okay. Man. Okay. okay, guys, I'm gonna have one more minute. Wait, Miss, can we go to Taco La Bala? For real? Uh, I don't think we can. Yeah, right so now. she needs to get skinny first. Yes. <laughs> um. Yeah. I want to go to Taco La Bala. You need to. Good. Miss, I got a question. Yes. So, so um, where where do where does the line start? Like like where the where, where are we? Oh my. Hi, Miss. Right here, Mark. The line starts in the street. Hi. So <laughs> whenever we're leaving for middle school dismissal, so like when your mom and dad come to pick you up at middle school dismissal, that's what happens. Okay. I don't know. Um, what What if you go walking? It will be the entrance gate, Junior. You just start from. The, I don't know which one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going to go walking. Though. You gotta look at the map. I'm showing you the map right now. Where the gates at? Where the security office is at? That's where it starts. Miss, is it is it optional or do we have to go? It's for real. Nope, you don't have to wear anything professional. And pass by. Okay, guys. All right, time is up. If you miss, 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 miss. Yes. Are you all uh, on mute the chat? No. This is busy. Can you put Mr. Hong to unblock it? Oh, guys, I have taught you enough that you can get around the blockers. If you don't know how to get around the blockers by now, I did not do my job and teach you that. Miss, what about the computer? Wait, I know. Shell shock one last time, Miss. I'm gonna check. Wait, is it already over? Yes. Hey, what about the computer? Uh, Miss Perfora, do they know about returning the computers? Hey, Jen, if you're on here, <laughs> oh my God. I'll give you my address really and all the block everything. Do you guys know how to return the computers? Can y'all leave us in here? America. You know what y'all talking? I'm just saying. Okay, there we go. I did it. Well, I 
Do they know how to return their computers? <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, I think I got it. Did I get it? Okay, I got it. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, I'm muting you all because I'm trying to answer the questions. So y'all were asking about your Chromebook. Okay, listen up. If you are not returning to KIPP, meaning you're not going to KIPP Connect High School, you do need to return your computer. But if you are going to KIPP Connect High School, you can keep your Chromebook, okay? So if you were at the meeting yesterday for the high school, they said there may be a chance you may start online. You will find out, okay? So, um... I think that's another question. Sophia, I'm going to put you off mute because I see if you have a question. Okay, Sophia, what's your question? What about our stuff in our lockers? Ah, I am still trying to figure that out. Um, I know we're supposed to wait on that because I know y'all got, we can't even go in the building yet. So y'all are going to have to wait until, I guess, maybe July or August. I don't know because we haven't been allowed ourselves. Even Miss Bowers, she's not even allowed to go in the building herself too. So you're gonna have to wait. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, Henry, you had another question. It was you. Uh, you already answered it. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, Mr. Pacina, sorry. <laughs> so all your stuff has been thrown away. I'm kidding. But uh, do they know to return it to 10711, the computers? No, oh, I don't think so. I don't know. They should have gotten a um, a letter for, via email, I think. Okay. And just remember, you're continuing to borrow them. They're not yours, yours. So for the love of God, treat them nicely. Any damages, you will pay. Yes. And Junior, I put you off mute. Go ahead, Junior. Um, I want to say something to Caesar, specifically him. Um, oh, this is just I think <laughs> <laughs> you got trolled. Yeah, I cut you off. <laughs> All right, Andy. Can you, uh, uh, Mr. Pacino? What's up? Can you convince Mr. Hong to unblock everything? The last time I told, I taught you guys how to get around the blockers. No, you didn't. You didn't Just log me. out of your Google account. When I tried if, so many if once you log in, you log out of your Google account, then the blocker that Mr. Hong set up doesn't work. Okay, thank you very much. The school ones does work, though. So just be careful about that. We see everything you do on that Chromebook. I finished my conversation. Thank you. You're welcome. I will be on the thing tomorrow, so if anyone has any more questions, just... Uh, Put a note against your windshield, and I have, I'll try to send you a message. Awesome. Okay, guys, that ends our ceremony. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Oh, Ms. Travis, did you want to say something? Okay, hold on. Ms. Travis, hold on. I'm looking for you. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I, was like, I'm, I was muted. I tried to unmute like four times. I was going to say 2024, if you all, um, Ms. Van I'll send you my phone number. For them, because I know some of them are leaving. So, if you would like to keep in contact with me, like don't don't harass me. But <laughs> if you would like to keep in contact, I would love to just make sure I keep in contact with y'all because I won't keep from you anymore because y'all are leaving the school. So, so I'll text you the number to give them, and we can get that number. And I love you guys, and I'll miss you so much. Even though some of y'all didn't talk to me this year, bring me. And I will miss y'all. <laughs> I will miss you guys so much. And miss, miss y'all wishing me happy birthday and everything. So that's why before I give them my number so that they can text me. I will. Oh, that was a good idea, Mr. Pacina. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I think I got some paper. Let me see. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> Yeah, a whole whiteboard.
Matter of fact, can, I can just tell y'all. Y'all will have y'all phone in your hand. If you want Miss Charlotte's phone number, it is. <clears throat> Seven one three six three five nine six nine nine. I'll say it again. Seven one three six three five nine six nine nine. <laughs> Mr. Bastina. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh oh, Miss Travis needs to be unmuted again. No, okay. All right, guys. I love y'all. Yes, y'all remember y'all can still contact me. I'm gonna I'm gonna respond because I had to respond to so many messages right now. Y'all all blew up my phone. So sweet. Just like y'all broke the zoom now. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope to see y'all tomorrow. Um, please you may decorate your car. There's no dress code. Just remember to stay in your car at all times. Once you get out of the car, we have to end it. Okay, so I do want to I do want to stamp that, okay? Um, please, please, please stay in your car at all times. All right? And get there at 6, not before 6, at 6. Okay? All right. Bye, guys. All right, and that was the stream. Okay, now that was the stream. Thank you for joining, everyone. Uh, now I gotta find out what my levels were. All right, uh, everyone, thank you for joining. Uh, <laughs> I see someone tried hacking their PlayStation. That's always fun. Uh, just uh, send me messages. I, I think I put it on the screen on there, all my contact info. Just if you want to play against me, you want to do some stuff, you want some information. I know one of my high school students right now asked me of, can you help me become an investor in the stock market? I'm like, sure. Like, I invest in stocks. Like, there are so many things that you guys don't even know about me. If you want to know something, just let me know. And yes, I did hack a game before as well where I was able to play like over, I want to say over a thousand different games on a on one device. But that's a different story. Just thank you for showing up, guys. Hope you had a blast on this in the year. Hope to see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Stay safe. And have a bye.